Hey everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of wireless hacking using a Steam Deck running Kali Linux. Now, why is this even possible? Well, the Steam Deck actually has an internal Wi-Fi card that supports monitor mode and injection mode, similar to these USB Wi-Fi adapters I typically use on laptops. So let me explain a few things. This keyboard and this mouse are hooked into a docking station sitting behind the Steam Deck. All movements will correlate to what's happening on the Steam Deck. This phone is the only phone hooked into the wireless network to give us a client to kick off of the network. So let's go ahead and have a little fun. And quick disclaimer, this wireless access point is my own property. I own this device, I own this network, and I have full permission to attack it. Do not attack or hack any network you do not have permission to. It is illegal in most countries and can land you in a lot of trouble. This is for educational and testing purposes only. With that, let's have some fun. So first I wanna show you, I am not connected to any ethernet network and I am not connected to any wireless network. Let's make this larger. And we're going to go to root. The first thing we need to do is identify what interface we'll be working on. We can do that by typing iwconfig. And what we're looking for specifically, in this case, it's going to be WLAN 0. And as we can see, we're in mode managed. We need to be in monitor mode. What I do here is type airmon-ng check kill. This is going to kill any processes that could interfere with our monitoring and packet injection. So now we need to put the interface into monitor mode. We can do that by typing airmon ng start WLAN 0. And now you can see that we're in monitor mode and I'm going to try and clean up the focus just a little bit. Okay, so now that we're in monitor mode, we'll go ahead and do arrow dump dash ng WLAN 0. This is going to list out all the access points that are broadcasting and go through all of the channels. So if you look at the upper left, you can see it's going through several channels. This is known as channel hopping. Now I run a mesh network. I have three nodes, so I will have three different MAC addresses. And as you can see, the CC Labs guest WAP currently are showing two. And I needed to show all three because I don't remember which one is the specific one. Let's rerun that real quick. There we go. Okay, so now we need to determine what channel our network is sitting on so we can target it more specifically. If we take a look at the top, we can see CH. This stands for channel. If we go down here, we see that CC Labs guest WAP is sitting on channel nine. All three nodes are sitting on channel nine. So what we wanna do is we wanna filter down to channel nine specifically. So we're going to do the same thing like we did before, except this time we're going to do tax C for channel, and then we're going to do channel nine. Now we're looking at just channel nine. So now I want it to list out, it's only listing out the two. Let's see if I can get it to list out the three. There it goes. Okay, and I'm quitting by hitting Control C. So as you can see, there's three different MAC addresses, 42, 3A, and 3E. What we wanna do now is create a capture file, and we're gonna do that with the arrow dump as well. So we're gonna do arrow dump dash ng, again, channel nine, because that's all we need to listen to, dash W to write the file. We're gonna call this CC Labs WAP dash D. Now we need the address. So we're going to just go from top to bottom. So we'll do 42. And because I have three different addresses, I'm going to rename this with 42 on the end. 
This is on WLAN 0. And we're going to run this. So what we're looking for here specifically are two things. The top left with a BSS ID is the current access point we're trying to listen to. Below that should have a correlating address. Station will list out what's connected to that MAC address. So you will see this same address listed here. And then over in Station, you'll see a new MAC address. This will be the client, or in this case, this phone, in which it doesn't look like it's connected to 4.2. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that here. See if I can fix the focus again. So it doesn't look like it's going to be 4.2. So we're going to grab 3A. And I want to change the file name to 3A. And we'll run this. Okay, as you can see now, station appeared. That's going to be this phone. So now what we need to do is with this running, we need to get a WPA handshake and we'll know whether there's a successful handshake as it'll be listed up here. So I'm going to stop this real quick. That's not what I wanted. And I want to grab both of these And let's start this back up. We're going to open a new tab. Now what we need to do is kick the phone off of this network, forcing it to re-authenticate. We're going to do that by sending packets. And then we're going to do that through Air Replay. We're going to do D auth, tac tac D auth, zero, because I want to hammer it. And then I'm going to do control shift V. Come back here to the beginning. We're going to do tac A for the access point, tac C for the client, in this case the phone. And we're on WLAN zero. So we're going to let that run, and we'll come back over here. And as you can see, the frames and the lost are going crazy. Okay, so there you go. What it took is roughly eight minutes. I've gone ahead and sped up the video up until this point, but I left everything intact so you can go back and watch it in slow motion if you want to watch it for eight minutes. But if we look in the upper right, we can see that we have a WPA handshake, and this is what we were looking for. So at this point, we can go ahead and stop our attack. So we'll control C there. And we no longer need to continue this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to run aircrack against our capture file that we created. We're going to do that with aircrack-ng, our file name. So in this case, it's going to be CC Labs. Uh, let's see, it's going to be 3A, and I have two of them, so I'm just going to assume it's O2. And then I'm going to do cap. Tack W for the word list directory we're going to be using or tack w for the word list that we're going to be using. In this case, it's going to be in user, share, word lists, and I think it was Wi-Fi that I used. Yeah. And what we're going to do is run this against our capture file. And there you go. It found the key, which is winner 2023 exclamation point. And if you know that password, you know that password. Anyways, that was all performed on the Steam Deck.